Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers on the channel. We're truly grateful for your feedback and engagement on the project. Uh, with that being said, we're looking to introduce a Discord for you guys to come hang out with us. You guys can chat with us. You can also ask us questions. And a very new feature, I'm going to allow you guys to submit schematics um, in the Discord to be featured in the city. So I'll give more details on how that's going to work in the future. I'll probably release a little tutorial video showing you guys how to do that. Uh, it is a bit of a process, but I think it's going to be really worth it. With that being said, in this video, you will see the new time lapse format that I mentioned in the community post. Um, it's a little off right now, only because I'm just kind of experimenting with it, uh, but expect in the next time lapse and subsequent ones uh, for it to be kind of all the kinks be worked out. That's at least the goal. And so, yeah, without further ado, Hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and we will see you in the next one. Hey guys, how's it going? Addison here and welcome back to another Abelia County time lapse. So we're going to be doing it a little bit different this time. Uh, we're going to be doing kind of half time lapse, half live, live action. And I kind of just wanted to change up the way we did it. I think it's going to work out a lot better. It's going to make it a little bit more engaging. And you guys will also get to see some of my kind of real time thought processes uh, behind uh, some of the buildings that we're doing. So as you guys can see, there's a couple things that I've done um, that have I have not yet shown. So very briefly, we're going to go ahead and go over to time lapse mode and I'm going to show you guys uh, us building uh, us building these things here.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the update. So we have a couple things that we need to get done this point in time. And as you can see, we added in this apartment complex here, and I think it looks really good. I think it fits this area uh, very well. I even added in this localized road here. I was kind of conflicted at first because I thought it'd be difficult to do it with the diagonal road. Uh, but you can actually make it work pretty easily, and I think this looks good. Um, I have, I may just end up, it's actually not uncommon in real life to just see like, essentially, if I can get this to work here. It's not uncommon just to see like that, like that happen where it like essentially just breaks. And so I may even go one more back there. Yeah, it's not uncommon at all to see that. So I'm not going to worry too much about trying to put it into the sidewalk there because I think ultimately it'll look better this way anyway. So yeah, I like that a little bit better. I think that works. And I could even try to do something here um, where maybe I try to align it better with the sidewalk. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, I could just keep it um, straight. Well, actually what I would like to do is add a crosswalk so let me see if I can do that briefly. Let's do, yeah, so we're gonna have to do something like this. So we will have to back this up inevitably, but that's not a big deal. And maybe I go like this. Yeah, that's all, okay, I really like that. But yeah, see that just looks really natural. And all we have to do for this part is just back it up like a couple. And let's go ahead and grab the paint that we need for this. And we'll even do this just to line it up. Yeah, I think that's gonna look the best. And I know this is backed up pretty far, um, but you know, most times in real life, you're gonna kind of creep a little bit, even over the sidewalk, so long as no one's actually walking over it. You know, you could creep up and then you can kind of turn into uh, wherever you need to go here, so. And also, I think you would probably see like this middle part cut out. So we'll see exactly how I'm gonna do it. I need to kind of look at some more samples in real life, uh, but then I could make this intersection a little bit more dandy. Yeah, as you can see, like on the map, I think it really connects this area better. And it's also gonna provide some more access to just get in between these areas. Uh, Cause otherwise the only way would be to essentially come down this road here, right? And uh, that would be the only way. So I think this is just gonna divert some of the traffic and also make it and these will be stop signs, so there won't be any lights. It's not like it's going to be anything crazy, uh, but it'll just allow some traffic to kind of divert. And so with that being said, too, we also also want to throw in like another probably apartment complex in here, um, something similar to this. And so, yeah, but then what we kind of need to do also is open this up and uh, add in a formal kind of stop sign here. Um, so you can turn in and out of the neighborhood. And then I also need to finish the uh, parking spaces here uh, that actually go in this complex. And then for this back area, I was thinking, which I hate that shading issue, but not a big deal. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a little walking path back here uh, just to kind of create something for the, for the residents to use. Uh, so I might just, you know, fill this with trees, but add a little path in the middle that you can walk down. And then um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe add like a little um, leasing office here. Something that the people can actually go to for, you know, maintenance requests and things of that nature. Um, you typically will have a leasing office within a complex like this. So it might be a good idea to add that maybe there in the corner. And yeah, that should finish off. Uh, this neighborhood completely. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with that. And then I'll see you guys once um, time lapses section is over.
All right, guys, welcome back from the time lapse. So I hope you enjoyed that replay mod time lapse. I think it looks really good. Um, of course, if it is a little fast. I may tweak it um, in the future. Uh, but as you can see, we went in here. We got this nice walking path within the uh, apartment complex. I even added this little like trash thing here at the end for people to take their trash out and also these recycling bins. Also have the Majestic Oaks. This is kind of the leasing office. It's nothing special, but I think it gets the job done and adds a little bit more character uh, for this area. Also added some lights um, for nighttime so they'll shine uh, and just kind of light up the um, the apartments a little bit. You know, you don't want it to be super bright, but you also don't want to have no lights at all. So, yep, I think it turned out great and the trees help just fill everything in in terms of the details. Additionally, um, also you saw the a uh, gas station uh, we added as well as this regions here and I think this turned out good um, I, I looked at some real life examples and found that this is pretty common just to see kind of like something like this and the stop is kind of like implied um, so I think that works great here uh, we even have the addition of actually having the gas prices very high very high might I add um, but I guess it kind of depends on where you live uh, so yeah, I think these buildings turned out great. And then over here, I wanted to go ahead and fill out this area just to kind of make it feel more complete. So um, in the time lapse, I didn't get to changing the colors, but you can see I did that here. And so yeah, we have the 7-Eleven, pretty much similar, uh, but it's a little bit different of a building design. So I wanted to kind of do that. And uh, yeah, same here, this wine and spirits, just kind of a, a you know, alcohol store uh, per se um, you would maybe see on a road like this so I think it works good um, and having these here together by the end of the interstate uh, this here there's not really much uh, in terms of buildings that we could probably put here uh, so chances are we'll go ahead and grab the pine tree and fill this in uh, other than that uh, what we need to do next and I think we'll go ahead and do this before we wrap up the video is just finish up this uh, interstate overpass here. So I want to go ahead and get it done. Go ahead and finish the paints over the bridge portion and then also add in the respective intersections here so you can actually get in and out. And uh, we'll see. I like this median kind of just having a full thing here. Uh, we'll see how I can maybe decorate it in the middle. We'll kind of figure that out. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish this guy up right here and then um, I'll join you guys for the outro. All right, guys, welcome back from the time lapse. So as you can see, got everything finished here. I think it looks really, really good. Um, not only does it just look really functional, it also is functional. And uh, yeah, also I'm dumb. 
And I let these, I made them all stop, which is not what I want to do. Um, that one will stop. That one will stop. This one will not. So, um, yeah, I may have to go and redo these. I guess I could just do like this. And they're pretty much good from there. Um, I think what would be smart too is to maybe add like a right turn lane to go into there. So fortunately I didn't think about that. I was just kind of big dumb brain for a minute. Um, but I may do that in between the time lapses. Just add like a right turn lane here and make it where you can um, go on that ramp if you need to instead of having it look like this. So yeah, I think that's uh, all that's really left to do. Um, and you can see the trees, I think ended up looking really good. Just putting them kind of in between here and on top. I think it really connects this area quite well, um, with everything. And so obviously we have a lot of development to do down this road. So this is little blank right now. Um, but I think before we go up there, I think we're going to just go ahead and finish out this little section that we've kind of marked off here on the map. Um, so you can see, if you look at the map here, uh, pretty much this zone, right? If you look at the mountain as a border and then this road here and then the interstate, you see, we kind of made a little grid per se, um, with a bunch of borders. So we may, I think the plan will be to just go ahead and try to fill this out, uh, with, you know, commercial buildings. Uh, we're going to do another apartment complex here. And I may even try to squeeze in a small apartment complex into this little section right here. Uh, it might be a little difficult, but I think I can do it. And then once again, this will be another apartment complex. So that's going to be the goal. Might have some businesses going along this diagonal road here. I think it'll look really cool. So really excited for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do in the next time lapse. We'll go ahead and finish off this whole grid, which is going to be super awesome. Um, because pretty much all the roads are done now. Uh, we just need to fill it in with buildings uh, and then from there we'll be good to go so anyways guys i'm gonna end this one here i thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think of the new time lapse format i really like it and uh, don't worry i will be changing up like the music and stuff um for each episode for the time lapses and things of that nature but yeah i think this worked out great i know this one was a little bit longer uh, but i'm gonna try to keep them within maybe a 15 20 minute range i think is gonna work great that being said thanks so much for watching guys and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.